Well, Zambia, Africa's biggest copper producer, plans to sell its first international bond this year. It plans to raise $1 billion for rail and power projects. Godfrey Matizwa spoke to Finance Minister Setumbeke Musakotwane to find out when the bond is expected to be issued. We are expecting a credit rating to come uh, sometime maybe in the third quarter of this year. Uh, well, a credit rating, of course, uh, for our viewers, viewers which is about giving a um, rating to credit worthiness of the, uh, the country. Sure. So by the third quarter of this year, we believe uh, we should have it. If I can just pick your brain a little bit, what are you hoping for? We know Angola was given a, a B plus uh, recently. What are you hoping for? You're hoping for better? Yeah, we are hoping for better. Uh, looking at the peer countries that have done these things, we mm -hmm. certainly believe that uh, B plus should be the minimum that you should be expecting to get for them. And the highest? Why not AAA? Well, uh, realistically, triple A, I think uh, that is beyond us, but uh, certainly B plus and above, that is something that we should easily uh, achieve. Ah, and when you get that credit rating, how much are you looking to raise and what sort of time frames are we talking about here? We are looking to raise something like uh, a billion dollars. Um, most of this, in fact, the entire amount of this is going to go for infrastructure. Okay. Uh, you realize that uh, Zambia there's so many growth opportunities, but uh, we really need to get infrastructure okay. out of the way so that uh, that does not become an obstacle yeah. to future growth for the country. Any specific sectors within infrastructure? We have uh, issues of energy, electricity, mm -hmm. uh, which the expanding mining sector requires. We have uh, roads. Uh, we have a number of roads that are required particularly those in the new mining sectors of the northwestern Zambia. Mm -hmm. um, they are already there but they need to be rehabilitated. They also need to have the capacity to, uh, uh, to carry heavy loads. Mm -hmm. We also have in mind um, improvement to the rail system. Mm -hmm. The Angolans are right now doing a railway line, rehabilitating the old Lobito of the Angola railway line. Yes. We need to connect to that. Uh, that should, of course, also help us to release pressure from the roads so that heavy materials like copper and other items can go by trains. So a billion dollars possible by 2010. Are you looking to come back to international markets next year? We believe that we should be getting into the international market this year, not next year. Oh, next year. That's the, that's the billion dollars that's for this year. Yes. What about next year? Are you also looking to try and raise some more money there next year? We have to wait and see how we do with the one billion that we are looking for now. Now, in January, you took the unusual step of scrapping the tax on miners, and then we saw Australia going the opposite direction. Now, some people may say, you know, it was a wise move with the benefit of hindsight, but have you been able to see any money that's flowing your way, perhaps as a result of Australia imposing that for those? 40% surcharges on miners? Well, Af Africa has uh, generally become much more attractive compared to the uh, Australians. Mm -hmm. But for us, the most important thing that was that uh, um, we still have uh, a windfall tax on mining, but oh, this okay. is a tax that is on profits. Right. Uh, and it's at uh, 15%. Now, what we removed was a windfall tax on the revenues. Okay. In other words, uh, you sell copper and you say this is the revenue that we collected from the sales, mm -hmm. then it was those sales that were being taxed and not the profits. Uh, that could potentially have harmed our economy, uh, but thankfully because we took that measure, the mining has continued to expand. Uh, and also our economy continued to expand, so this gives us the confidence that we took the right decision.